Welcome to Brian's Action Figure Reviews and today we've got a brand new Marvel Legends Action Figure Review. Today's review is from the Doctor Strange movie Build-A-Figure Wave, Rintra Build-A-Figure Wave and this one is Despair. Look at how they've spelled that, really clever. So Despair is an evil villain and again it's another one that I'm not too familiar with but the look of that character it really really stands out. The black and the white and stuff and I'm looking forward to again learning more about this character i know i'm going to end up in a lot of legends that i know nothing about no i'm not i i do have the marvel app and everything so i am going to learn about this character now and uh, he looks really really cool the embodiment of the ultimate evil despair uses the fear of others to strengthen himself so like most politicians uh anyway yeah <laughs> so let's check out the box of despair so here is the box for marvel's despair and as you can see, he looks really, really cool in the box. You've got all the black and white here. You've got the big hoof of Rintra. It does say Legend Series here. Build a figure Rintra, plus four choking hazard. Don't choke on the pieces. On the side, you've got this absolutely awesome artwork. It's on both sides, actually. And it looks really, really good. On the back, you've got the extension of that, which looks excellent. And of course, as I read this out already, here's Rintra, who was in Doctor Strange for four seconds. Doctor Strange, Wong, America Chavez, Mordo, Doctor Strange in ghosty kind of form, and Sleepwalker. And you've all the legalese down here. On the bottom, more rubbish that no one reads. And uh, there's not much more to say. It wasn't $25.99, it was gone down in a sale. And very happy to get that. So let's get this bad boy out of the box. So guys, here is Despair out of the box. And first things first, I have to say, he looks quite unique. And the head sculpt is absolutely fantastic on this guy. The body is pretty basic. But in saying that, that is just the look of the character. It's nothing to do with the design. Well, it's everything to do with the design of the character, but it's nothing to do with the body. Now let's go to accessories first. He does come with two punching hands. These were of course on him when he came. But a character like this, I don't know, it doesn't seem right to be punching. He does come with one of the legs for the Rintra build a figure. And when I when I opened him, the the cloak was off. So you had to literally take it apart and you had to pop his head off and get the cloak on. Now looking at the cloak, it's quite nice. There actually are holes all over it. Uh, it's very unique looking. But in saying that, the cloak, which does go over his shoulders, quite limits his articulation, which is why I'm all for soft goods on cloaks. Now there is quite nice detail on the inside of it. But again, like this guy has got butterfly joints and they're just pointless because he can barely, he can barely raise his hand over over his chest so I don't see the point of masses of articulation now you can get him into some decent poses in saying that but as I said this character is it's quite it's quite obscure uh, he does look really good he will look unique on your shelf but he's quite obscure and the body they've given him doesn't help uh, as I said earlier though this head sculpt is top. Like you can see the red eyes there and the cracking of his, uh, his brow there and everything and the teeth. It just looks incredible. And the hand, like the only other real design on the figure itself is the hands have got like white flames going up along the forearms, which is really cool. Other than that, the, the whole body is just completely unpainted or now there is like a discrepancy here in the the hips there's a different black between the hips and the thighs and you can really see it under the light i don't know if it's just, if it's just me or not but uh, it seems like a pretty silly thing to leave out uh, articulation wise you can't really do much up and down maybe with the head down a little bit as i said he has butterfly joints so you can get a good bit of movement there. He does have bicep swivel. He does have double jointed elbows, wrist articulation, 
an ab crunch, waist swivel, and ties uh, about this far. Does have a tie swivel as well, double jointed knees, shin articulation, and rocker ankles. Now, I often give out about articulation on female figures that they need it and then they don't have it. But then you get a figure like this who is like on their most articulated male body and doesn't need it because he can't use it because of the head or because of the cloak. So I often wonder like who's making these decision, decisions. They're quite silly at times. For 10 euros, which is what I paid for this guy, he's quite good. He will stand out on the shelf. He look good. It's another villain to have. So like if I was to pay whatever they're asking for figures now, 25, 26 euros, I would be pretty annoyed because he's fairly basic. Some wrong decisions made in articulation. He doesn't come with anything bare like a second set of hands and obviously the bath part. But other than that, I wouldn't be too plus on buying this guy, which is why I waited for him to go down. So yeah, that, that's been my review of despair not really a shining review i'll admit but yeah and i'm sure there are people who are fans of this character from the comics uh, as for me i'm going to learn a bit, a bit more about him now because he does look really really cool and yeah so that's been my review guys of despair if you're feeling generous drop that subscribe drop a comment below in the box below and there's plenty of other videos across my channel if you would like to watch something else and that would help me too so thanks very much for watching guys and i hope i'll see you soon on the next one goodbye